Some colleagues and I, including a, my PhD student Tom Bean, um, we've been working on birds foraging at sewage treatment works. So um, in many cases sewage treatment works are fairly open and there's lots of part of the processing of sewage is that there's lots of invertebrates involved, so worms and maggots and other things living actually on the filter, you know, the sewage treatment works. And um, lots of animals are attracted by the high amounts of food there. So birds, bats um, are all known to feed at, at some sewage treatment works. And of course, at sewage treatment works, there's relatively high concentrations of pharmaceuticals because this, this is before the sewage has been treated at all. So things like worms have uh, quite often got high, relatively high concentrations of different drugs. So Tom um, has been measuring the concentrations of the antidepressant fluoxetine, the trade name of which is Prozac. He's been measuring the concentrations within the worms and using that to calculate what a bird feeding on the sewage treatment works would take if, if it was um, living in and around there and it was eating most of its food from the sewage treatment works. So we use that to then calculate a dosage of, of um, fluoxetine and we then um, did some experiments working with starlings. So we were exposing starlings in captivity to an environmentally relevant concentration of fluoxetine over the winter, so over about a six month period. Mm -hmm. We looked at changes in behavior and physiology. And one of the interesting effects that we found was on foraging behavior. So the antidepressant fluoxetine, it's designed to change behavior in humans, um, but what's isn't so well known is well what's the effect of fluoxetine on a perfectly normal non-depressed animal and um, so we know that it changes behavior in humans but it also has some side effects and it can also change um, appetite in humans and so it's interesting that we also found changes in foraging behavior in birds so um, a normal pattern of the way that birds forage during the winter is that when they wake up they obviously haven't eaten all night so they're very hungry so they have a big breakfast and then during the day, um, they forage to meet their energetic requirements. But it's, it's bad for a bird to eat too much because then it's too heavy to escape from predators and fly away. And so in the middle of the day, a normal bird should not eat that much. And then it, just before bedtime, essentially, it has a, a hearty supper and then, <laughs> and then it can survive a, a cold, dark winter's night. And that's what our control birds did, as we expected. But the birds that had been exposed to environmentally relevant concentrations of fluoxetine, they didn't do that, they, based, they didn't have a hearty breakfast, um, they just essentially just snacked throughout the day and didn't have a hearty breakfast, so their, their foraging routine was completely changed.